Um, Malcolm, uh, Mrs. Bowen, has your mother, has described uh, what they saw from the, the window of the house and from the street. What did you lads do after you'd seen it coming over? Well, the rest of them ran up and I just stayed there. What did you see when it was coming over in the sky? What did it look like? It was just like an ordinary saucer with a round sort of thing on the top. We were just coming across the fields and, uh, you know, saw it in the sky. We thought it was an aeroplane at first, so we all kept quiet and... We saw it going round and then we said it couldn't be an aeroplane and we didn't hear any sound. So it come over here, over the fields here, and it landed in this field here. It was red. And then we ran up and see what it was. And when we ran up we couldn't see it. So we ran back down to where Malk was and they walked across the fields with the police. Uh, we got there, we met by a gang of children and uh, one or two adults who uh, informed us that they'd seen this glow in the sky travelling from east to west, or west to east, uh, I can't remember exactly which, and that it had disappeared over the prow of the hill on the bank that we were facing. Anyway, we started climbing this bank, and uh, I will admit at first we got a little apprehensive, and we did send quite a few children back that were quite small, and. Uh, as can I say, we carried on. And can you tell me why, why you send your children back? Well, like a good many more people, uh, I suppose these things could happen. You, you don't, uh, shall I put it this way, I don't actually believe in these things, but there again, I wouldn't disbelieve them. I can't prove it one way or the other, do you see? And uh, as I say, the parents of the children were so adamant that this thing had happened that, uh, well, we thought we'd be on the safe side and send them back as best we could, like, you see. Anyway, we carried on to the top of the hill and... Uh, could see no signs, travelled, as you say, a good half mile past the prow of the hill, saw nothing at all. But in the distance there was a public house that uh, has got all yellow signs round it, you know, and a glass veranda, and I assumed that this, possibly lighting up for the first time during the night, could have been what they'd seen. We saw a very bright glow, and it went up straight in the air, spinning round, and then about 10 to 12 seconds later, you know, it went out to sight. And a lady saw it over there, and she said, look at her taking off, and the police saw it, and... Um, Malcolm, um, Mrs Bowen has...